My name is Marina. I'm from Ukraine. I'm 27 years old. I've been in Dubai for two years and I converted one year ago. As you know, Ukraine was the part of USSR. So at that time there was no religion. The only religion was communism. Communism was the religion, was the lifestyle, everything, as my parents told me. All the charges, mosques, everything was destroyed. Because like Uzbekistan, Tatarstan, there was Muslims in before. Not like Christians as Ukraine or Russia itself. So my parents, there was not, there was not religious. Like they never went to church. They just believed in God and that's it. Especially my mom, she was always against church. Why? Because if you go to the church, you see, uh, church is same as most the place where you come to talk to the God, to be closer, to do the religious stuff, not just to come give money for the uh, people who are like working there to buy themselves where to phones and drive Mercedes for, uh, cars. Sorry, it's not a religion. I was not uh, raised in the religious family, so I was not a, like Christian self. You cannot go that I was Christian before, but of course, because uh, when I was born, it was like used to that uh, everybody's taking their kids to the church and then making them Christian and all this stuff like this. I never believed that Jesus is the son of God, like most of the people believe in. I believed that he was a prophet and um, that he was sent by God. I was reading like small, not too much, like not deep into books. I was reading about Islam. And uh, before I came to Dubai, I bought Quran in uh, like with the, in Russian, like translation. I started living in this community, in like around everybody's Muslim, most of the people Muslim, in the at work everybody Muslims. So um, I saw that like Islam is gathering people together, and it does like if you're gonna be in some bad situation, they will always help you. Before Ramadan came, I was thinking, because the thing is like, I'm smoking. And before I was smoking like two packs a day. I was thinking, I want to see myself, like rather I can hold myself for this goal the whole day long, the whole month for not smoking, because really it was a big addiction for me. And from the first day of Ramadan, I start, I start uh, fasting, but I didn't convert. I convert in the middle. So like all these two weeks I was fasting, it was easy for me. I didn't even feel like I want to smoke, like I'm dying. Like before, like one day without smoking was very bad. But in Ramadan it was easy for me because when you believe that you're doing something, not for someone, not for people around, not to show off, you're doing it for yourself and for Allah. So I made the Shahada and I converted. But I finished fasting, but I didn't cover myself. The biggest concern for me, like before, like all our countries, people, we are drinking. Not like we are alcoholics, but like each party or as soon as people meet together, they're not drinking chai. Like here, like they will come and drink sada chai. No, uh, for us, like everybody's drinking beer. So for me, I don't do this stuff anymore. The thing that attracted me mostly to uh, join Islam was the way they treat women in Islam. Because before, when I didn't know about Islam much, I was thinking that the woman that wears a baya and uh, she's always staying home, like she's not allowed to work, I was thinking. In general, Islam has helped me. Uh, my life became easier, not like social way or like because of some work outside. It's only from inside myself. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, here you have seen this Ukrainian lady, she converted to Islam in Dubai and she is now a Muslim, she is covering herself and she is trying to practice Islam as much as she can and she also fasted in the month of Ramadan. And she said that Islam made her a better human being and she now feels good, uplifted after embracing Islam. She finds the inner peace and she was saying that she was smoking a lot before accepting Islam. but during the month of Ramadan when she fasted, she didn't feel like smoking, though she was addicted to smoking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps you when you try to give up on your bad habits. And Islam is really beautiful. And during this month of Ramadan, it's a month which disciplines the Muslims for the next 11 months. During the month of Ramadan, even the halal things are haram, like eating food is halal in the other months, right? But in the month of Ramadan, it's haram to eat or drink from 
dawn to dusk and she said that in ukraine her parents were not religious at all because when ukraine was under ussr the soviet union at that time there was no religion only communism was there so they didn't get the chance to practice any religion my beloved brother and sisters here's another point don't judge anyone quickly you never know what is their position what is their family condition what is the ruling in their country to follow any religion and what happened in the past so rather than judging anyone give sincere advice give da'wah to people you never know who will accept islam and if anyone accepts islam through you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you abundantly help us build a islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description